Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. The waterproof membrane that signals the build-up of the playing surface at Everton's new stadium is being rolled out. The waterproof liner forms a barrier between the initial laying of cabling and the sand infill and yet to be installed upper levels. And it's another another big moment, isn't it? It's another new change that you see on all the drone videos and everything. It's seeing that black um, cloth material go over the pitch and there's even little holes for the goalposts as well and it's just another exciting moment um because once that pitch is covered and then they're going to add uh some of the cabling over that and then we're going to see a layer of gravel and then and then before you know it um they'll be seeding it and it is just just gets more exciting i know we're 12 months away but on the outside of the stadium now, it, it it practically it's a it's a finished stadium, isn't it? It's a if we've got we've got everything now, um, and it's just about all these final touches, uh, and obviously a lot of the interior as well. So a very a very exciting step forward for Everton's new stadium, as obviously we celebrate the last year at Goodison Park. Uh, Tim Iraburnham has vowed to continue it, to work relentlessly on his fitness and match sharpness after labelling his display at Coventry as nowhere near his best. Speaking in an interview with Everton's website, he said, I'm adapting to the way we play and obviously we're a few weeks in, uh, so I'm still getting full fitness back and hopefully we can get better performances as we look ahead to the next games. I feel like I've settled in quite quickly. All of the lads have been really good with me and the coaches, the staff have helped me settle in really well. Everyone has been very welcoming, so it has been good for me. I actually thought he did all right against um, Coventry on Tuesday. I thought he was showed some bright moments. Um, and of course, listen, no, I don't think any Evertonian thought he was going to come in and be unbelievable and dominate our midfield. This is definitely a player who think we're going to bed in, certainly in the first few months of the season. Um, and till he finds, you know, till he comes in, gets a few moments, um, Obviously, does he have experience of Premier League with being a Villa Championship with QPR when he was on loan? So, I don't think anyone's expecting anything too much. But hopefully, again, he's involved on Saturday against Preston and we see a little bit more of him and certainly a little bit more of all of the other Everton players because it's been, hasn't been great so far anyway, has it? Uh, talking about the pre season, Everton's last pre season friendly at Goodison Park and it is the last ever pre season at game at Goodison Park against Roma is now on general sale. Uh, the game takes place on the 10th of August at 5pm and of course that'll be our last game ahead of the Premier League starting the week after uh, against Brighton at home and for anyone who can't get to Goodison regularly, anyone who's struggling, anyone who can't really see how they're going to get tickets for those for those Premier League fixtures or cup fixtures, this might be your last opportunity ever to Go to Goodison Park. Certainly it'll be the last time you ever go to Goodison Park chilled out, I imagine. Um, so go experience it, you know, and enjoy it. Take the kids if they've never been before, give them that one last go. Uh, or maybe it'll be their first go at Goodison Park. Um, you'd never regret it, will you? You'll never regret taking your kids to Goodison for the first time. And, and you know, instead of being... At least if they go, if they go, they've been, you know, and if people can't get tickets for the rest of the season, which it, I reckon it'll be very, very hard, then um, this is a fantastic opportunity. So make sure you grab hold of that. Uh, and Karen Homegard has signed a new contract with Everton women ahead of the new season. Uh, one of the most instrumental players for Everton women's team and been lots of in and outs this summer for Everton women, so uh, really good to see that they've given Can Hongard a new contract ahead of the new season, a little bit of stability for them, um, which will be a big season for them as well. Uh, so well done for them and, and well done to Karen. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR code will be coming up on the screen in just a moment. Don't forget, all the videos are ad-free. All the podcasts are ad-free. You get discounts on your merch as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.